Samsung just released its Galaxy Z Fold 3 and there are a lot of goods and few bads about the device. Let's dive in. How's it going guys, Max here. So a few hours ago, Samsung released its Z series for the year. That's the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just focusing on the Z Fold 3. And let's start with the design. Personally, I feel that the design and build quality are one of the areas with major improvements. Like, the design looks sleek and super cool. Gorilla Glass Victors has been coated both on the front and the back of the device and as if that's not enough, the device comes with a uh, more durable aluminium armor build making this the most durable foldable on earth with IPX8 water, not dust, water resistance and um, that's actually cool for them to do it on a foldable device, this is just great. Then uh, they actually come in three colors, which is Phantom Black, Phantom Green, and Phantom Silver. Which one is your best? Um, then over to the cameras. Well, this is actually where things get a little bit tricky because though the device is the first foldable with an under display camera, but it's four megapixels. Soak that in. Four megapixels. And to be honest, the photos coming out of this. Um, under display camera is actually terrible but still samsung gives you like two options with either the outer display selfie camera or the main camera which you can still flip and use as a selfie camera but samsung gave us the same triple rear camera system from last year which is 12 megapixels all through so to me this is actually bad because this is a flagship and Considering the fact that you replaced the Note series for this year, I actually expected the Z Fold 3 to have a better camera system than last year's S20 Plus. Google Chrome, everything has just been optimized for the device. 120Hz both in the on the main display and the outer display. Fluidity, great. Like software, I can give it to them like very very well. But the experience would have been better if Samsung's X Pen was integrated into the device and not sold separately after the launch event and uh, a case. And don't even get me started with the S Pen Pro, which you need to charge separately, which is just strong. And the fact that you can use the notes, the native notes S Pen freely on the device without damaging it is just wrong. So. Um, there are many other things about the device, I will leave the launch events linked in the description. But in summary, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is a great device, don't get me wrong, but it's almost as if the selling points of the device also has compromises everywhere. And considering the fact that the device costs $1,800 as a starting price, though it's cheaper than last year's model, but I mean, you have to be really, really, really like real and you have to be a very very specific user if you actually want this device like who is this meant for i really don't know um tell me if you want to see a z flip 3 video down in the comment section tell me about your best uh, feature of the guys z 43 down in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace